Let's take a look at NVIDIA's RTX 5090. Looks like NVIDIA is going really clean with the packaging this time around. Um, it's very cardboardy kind of feeling. The card itself fits snugly right in here. And the first thing I notice is that it is already apparently much smaller than the 4090. This is the founder's edition of the card and out of the case it looks like you know NVIDIA's last few generations of GPUs. The big difference this time, this one is a lot slimmer. This is just a two slot design. So it's gonna fit right at home uh, inside some small form factor cases. Along the back there are three DisplayPort 2.1b ports and one HDMI 2.1b port. Uh, pretty much the same amount of ports. They do look like they're flipped from past versions though. This time around there are two fans pushing air directly through the card. The PCB now sits in the middle. This is a more efficient design. That's kind of what helped uh, the card itself get a lot smaller than before. And just from what we've seen at NVIDIA's editor day, the uh, PCB itself is much smaller than before. So here's the RTX 5090 next to the 4090, NVIDIA's former flagship. And they look, you know, similarly long, but uh, once you look at them side by side, you start to see a big difference there. 4090 is a three slot card. It takes up a lot of space in the mid tower PC and uh, certainly would not be fitting in any small form factor system. So the 5090, just looks and feels much more dense. And to me, it feels uh, better engineered. They both have metal cases, but uh, just really interesting differences here. More polished metal on the 5090 side. Uh, the 4090 just feels a lot more utilitarian, but still very pretty. The RTX 5090 requires a 1000 watt PSU. And like before, it's gonna be using a dongle, a single dongle here to four power connectors to uh, you know, to handle all of that power supply. If you have a newer PSU, uh, you can probably just use one of those single cable deals as well. So that's it for now. I have this thing in hand, I'm gonna be installing it. Keep an eye on gadget.com for some of our reviews, our benchmarks and everything. And hopefully this lives up to the hype. Nvidia says it is twice as fast as the 4090, but of course that uh, includes all the, you know, frame generation that this card does that the 4090 doesn't do. We'll have to look at rasterized performance and other metrics as well.